The cut, perfect. The drape, exquisite. The look, exclusive. The price anywhere between 5,000 and 50,000 rupees. Whether it is Chanel as a perfume, Cartier on the wrist, it is a designer Ghagra Choli, a Rohit Khosla or a Jashn as a dress. In less than half a decade, a few Indian designers have created a niche for Indian high fashion. It all began in 1987, when Tarun Tahiliani opened Ensemble, a designer garment outlet giving the industry its first platform. Since then, four designers have been at the helm of high fashion. 28 years old Shab Durazi graduated from BCom at Sydenham College to designing in New York. He returned in 1988 producing purely Western style garments. He does not believe in alteration and goes for the simple tailored look. Abu Jani and Sandeep Khosla reintroduced the crush. They work with voluminous fabrics and with very ethnic styles. Better known by their earlier label, Jashn, they form a volatile combination. With impressive credentials like a degree from the Kingston School of Fashion England and work experience under the likes of Claude Montana and Alfred Nippon, who can believe that Rohit Khosla's earliest influences were Jamini Roy and Wahida Rahman? Rohit Bal has no formal training and also does men's wear. Working on the cut and colour of the ageless Bandgala, he has brought it back into vogue. His styles are as forthright as his personality. High fashion is still a small industry, but it is booming and with markups between 100 and 200 percent, boutiques are springing up all over the country, grossing over 200 to 400,000 rupees monthly. The mood in the industry is optimistic as we witness this creative chemistry between the designer and his clients. Indian fashion industry has no way to go but up. last month, Ismail Merchant was setting up the shot for his latest production, Hifazat Me, a film based on the English novel In Custody by Anita Desai. Though the Merchant Ivory production films are directed by James Ivory, an American, in Bhopal, it is Ismail who is the director. Action! And for him, after shifting base to New York, it is a homecoming of sorts. The Merchant Ivory partnership has over the past 30 odd years given several memorable films, but the householder still remains their favorite. Well, I always look to householder as, you know, something very, you know, special for me. Uh, that was the start of our career. And, and of course, you know, you can't, all the films have something very special, but householder has because it was the first film we did. I always think very fondly of it. Since then, the Merchant Ivory team has produced numerous other films set in India before they left shore to conquer the world. I was thinking last night that our films, our films break down into three groups. There's nine Indian films, there are nine American films, and there are five British films, if you include Quartet, which was set in Paris but was about the English. And that's how, it's, that's how it's broken up. Their last few productions have reaped for them accolades and financial success. With their latest venture, Howard's End, winning awards and critical acclaim the world over, the Merchant Ivory team is now one of the most prestigious in Hollywood. Their newest distributors is Walt Disney Productions, and with such an impressive track record, it is no wonder they are so much in demand. Sort of a coincidence, but we have three French films all in a row. One is a film about Thomas Jefferson, another is a film about Picasso, and then there's a film about uh, an ex American expatriate family living in Paris in the 1970s. And it just so happens that they all have come together, so now I think we'll have a French phase. We are booked till the year 2000. If we were to just do a film a year, we are booked for the next seven years. 
but India still remains a major love for them, a country whose sheer variety and texture lends itself to perfect film settings. I've never been to a Jonathan Alora after all these many, many, many trips to India. So that seems very special to me. I hope someday I get there. Well, I like Rajasthan very much. I like um, the hills, you know, Nenital, and I like to go to Almora. I've never been up in cer certain hill stations that would be of interest to me to go to. I've never been to Darjeeling, for instance. And I also want to travel in the south, which I haven't done very much. Uh, I've been to Kerala, but I like to travel all, all the way from Orissa down to Tamil Nadu. Ismail Merchant, the film wala, exploring with his latest production his very own cultural roots.